And because of more causes of COVID-19, Duke University is considering reinstating its campus mask mandate. CBS 17's Darren Todd joins us live at Duke University after speaking with students. Darren. Hey, good afternoon, Bill and Liz. Guys, I spoke with some students on and off camera, and some of them tell me that they didn't even know that this was the topic of discussion. Meanwhile, other students who got the alert Monday say that they're already planning to follow pursuit. This week, Duke University announced that if the city of Durham remains at a high risk of COVID-19 for two weeks in a row, the university will go back to requiring masks in classrooms. It definitely stinks. Um, classes with masks was not super fun, but I care about the well-being of all the other students, so I will happily oblige should that be the case. Alyssa Barnet and her friend are Duke students and say although the masks aren't comfortable, they understand why they're needed. It gets a little hot, for sure, but I would rather wear the masks than put people's lives at stake. Weekly COVID-19 hospital admissions in North Carolina have hit the highest point in nearly a year. Two-thirds of North Carolina counties are considered to be at the high risk, and according to the CDC, Durham is one of them. Duke also admitted that this current surge wasn't totally unexpected. I think winter always flares up because of all the travel and all the holiday parties and everything. Everyone's gathering, but um, I hope everyone takes care of themselves. Now, Bill and Liz, I did reach out to the other schools and university around the Triangle area, and so far I've only heard back from NC State, who tell me that this is not something that they're considering at this time. Live here in Durham, Darren Todd, CBS 17 News. Yeah, it was very interesting. I know you and I were talking about this earlier in the newsroom, Darren. When you hear that first one come up, gets you thinking about what's going to yep. be next. Mm. Thank you. And here's a look at the most recent map of COVID-19 spread. Two-thirds of counties are seeing high level of spread. 68 counties were in the orange zone this week. That includes nearly every county in central North Carolina. It represents a massive jump from last week when there were just 10 counties in orange. We are expecting an updated COVID-19 map to be released tomorrow.